Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating story of BlackBerry, a brand that once ruled the smartphone market. BlackBerry was more than just a phone. It was a symbol of innovation and status. BlackBerry was created by a Canadian company called Research in Motion, or RIM, in 1984. The company was founded by Mike Lazaridis and Douglas Freegan in Waterloo, Ontario. Initially, RIM focused on wireless communication technology, and in the early 1990s, they developed a device called the Interactive Pager. This device allowed users to send and receive text messages, which was quite revolutionary at the time. In 1999, RIM launched the first BlackBerry device, known as the BlackBerry 850. This device combined the features of a pager and an email client, allowing users to send and receive emails on the go. It was the first time that people could stay connected to their work emails while away from their desks, and it quickly became popular among business professionals. BlackBerry's popularity grew rapidly in the early 2000s. The brand became synonymous with secure email communication, and its devices were favored by businesses, government agencies, and professionals around the world. The famous BlackBerry keyboard, with its small physical buttons, became iconic. One of the key features that set BlackBerry apart from its competitors was its security. BlackBerry devices used advanced encryption to protect users' data, making them the go-to choice for anyone who needed to keep their communications private. This level of security attracted high-profile users, including politicians, celebrities, and executives. As smartphones began to evolve, BlackBerry continued to innovate. They introduced the BlackBerry Messenger, or BBM, which allowed users to send instant messages to each other for free. This feature became incredibly popular, especially among younger users, and helped BlackBerry maintain its dominance in the smartphone market. By 2008, BlackBerry was at the peak of its success. The company had over 20 million subscribers, and its devices were sold in more than 175 countries. BlackBerry was the smartphone of choice for many, and its brand was seen as a symbol of success and professionalism. During this time, BlackBerry continued to release new devices with improved features. The BlackBerry Bold, released in 2008, was one of the most popular models, offering a sleek design, a powerful processor, and the signature BlackBerry keyboard. The company also introduced touchscreens on some of its models, trying to compete with the emerging touchscreen smartphones. However, the smartphone market was changing rapidly and BlackBerry soon faced new challenges. In 2007, Apple introduced the iPhone, a revolutionary device with a full touchscreen and an intuitive user interface. The iPhone offered features that BlackBerry devices lacked, such as a large app store and a more user-friendly experience. Around the same time, Google launched the Android operating system, which was adopted by several smartphone manufacturers. Android phones also offered touchscreens and access to a wide range of apps, making them a strong competitor to BlackBerry. Despite the competition, BlackBerry was slow to adapt to the changing market. The company continued to focus on its physical keyboard and secure email services, while other smartphone makers were offering touchscreens and app ecosystems that appealed to a broader audience. This reluctance to innovate began to hurt BlackBerry's market share. As the years went on, BlackBerry's market share continued to decline. In 2011, BlackBerry launched its Playbook tablet, hoping to compete with the iPad. However, the Playbook was met with poor reviews and low sales, further damaging the brand's reputation. In an attempt to regain its position, BlackBerry released a new operating system called BlackBerry 10 in 2013. The new OS featured a touchscreen interface and a virtual keyboard but it was too late. By this time, most consumers had already switched to iPhones or Android devices, and BlackBerry's market share had dwindled. The company's struggles continued, and in 2016, BlackBerry announced that it would stop making its own phones. Instead, the company shifted its focus to software and services, 
particularly in the area of cybersecurity. BlackBerry's hardware business was over, but the brand still lived on in a different form. Today, BlackBerry is no longer a major player in the smartphone market. However, the company has reinvented itself as a leader in cybersecurity and enterprise software. BlackBerry's software is used in various industries, including automotive, healthcare, and finance, where security and reliability are critical. While BlackBerry phones are no longer being manufactured, the brand still holds a special place in the hearts of many who remember the early days of smartphones. The BlackBerry name has become a symbol of innovation, security, and the ever-changing nature of technology. The story of BlackBerry is a tale of innovation, success, and the challenges of adapting to a rapidly changing market. BlackBerry's journey is a reminder of the importance of staying ahead of the curve in the tech industry. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more stories about the brands that have shaped our world. Let us know in the comments what other stories you'd like to hear. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.